Hi, Tom Cole, the coach for Steve Taylor Community Connection. Certainly an honor and a privilege to be here at Toledo Day Nursery. And I'm here with uh, Julia Myers, right? Mm -hmm. Chelsea Davis, yeah. both directors uh, at uh, the nursery. Hunter and Hudson, and which one is which one? Because <laughs> okay, I can't I'm tell. Hunter. Hunter and Hudson. Yes. Hudson's giving me the side eye. <laughs> it's such an interesting history, ladies. 1871, I think it was started, which was mind shocking to me. Uh, over 150 years, second oldest uh, day nursery in the United States. That's an unbelievable tradition and history. What, as directors, what is it about this that you truly love? I'll start with you, Julia. What, uh, what is it about this every day that you truly love? Working with children has always been my passion. You know, I went to school to work with children, and so to be an administrator who then gets to work with teachers, who gets to work with families, who gets to work directly with the children, I think it just, it humbles me because I get to meet so, ama so many amazing people. I also am a parent, so being able to drop my son off to a school that's yeah. phenomenal with amazing teachers, it's very rewarding every single day. And uh, uh, Chelsea, how about for you? Is it the fact that you know that your child is here with you? That's gotta be, Yeah. but you don't worry because you know that you're here and everything is good. Absolutely, and above and beyond that, like we just have quality care. All around and so even if I wasn't here I wouldn't have to worry because I just know these babies are taken care of they're being taken care of well as if it's their these teachers own children and so I feel like that's the peace of mind that not only me as an administrator has but any parent that comes into our center can just totally relax and rely on the fact that we ha are providing quality care for these babies. Chelsea that's such a salient point that you just made about you take care of all the children as if they really are your children. And that, mm -hmm. that is very, very important. And I know to you, Julia, and to Chelsea, you're so proud of your staff, the, the people that work here. Can you talk a little bit about your staff and you know, maybe um, how many of them are educators, how many of them experience uh, in the industry? Most of our teachers are educated, so if they're not, we work to get them educated. So we partner with places like the YWCA and Owens right. so that teachers can receive CDAs and associates, and then a lot of our staff have been hired in for bachelor's degrees. So most of our staff is educated, and if they're not, then they go through an orientation period where they do get educated about how to take care of these babies so that they are their own. Because we have some teachers who are moms, we have some teachers who are not moms, so we want to give them the respect to learn both ways. That's one of the ways our school is phenomenal, but it also is just the level of empathy they have for children. Right. You walk in and this teacher is going to immediately say hi to you first, but then they're going to give your child the biggest hug they've ever received. Right. Because every single day we want to make sure that these children feel loved, safe, and heard. And when the children are, are happy at the day nursery like they are here for the Toledo Day Nursery, that's got to take a lot of the... Um, difficulties off of parents when they you know they know that the youngsters are cared for they know that they're happy Chelsea mm -hmm. that that's just got to relieve and they can just go to work and do their job yeah right? would, you, would you agree with that absolutely and let me just say I as a mom have high standards right. <laughs> so if um you, you know you made me take my shoes off when I, did. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even know that Chelsea <laughs> and Julia were gonna allow me in this room uh, so they do have really high standards yeah we just have we have high standards that we just uphold and that's what sets us apart from just any other in this in the city and the nation is really just the fact that we come we come we bring quality care forward um, we have high standards for our teachers we have high standards um, for the involvement of teachers in yes. these children's lives and um, yeah at the end of the day it's it's really just making sure we have quality that's being pushed for ladies uh, folks will end up watching this um, what would if somebody says gee I would like to get involved and have my children come to Toledo Day Nursery is it just as simple as making a phone call to Toledo Day Nursery is it that simple do you prefer someone contact you online what's the process yeah, it can be phone call. Um, we do have our website that people can go ahead what on. What is that website, Chelsea? ToledoDayNursery.org. That's, you know, even I could figure that out. <laughs> yeah. ToledoDayNursery.org. So, and just contact you and then, you, what are the age groupings here? I mean, uh, 
How, what's, how far, how young, how old, how does, where does it go? We work with children six weeks to pre-K age. So pre-K okay. is the stage before they go to kindergarten. Okay. We do not serve school age children, but pre-K, um, whether you decide to enroll at four, five, or six, so those age groups, and we work with families who are private paying or ODGFS. Okay. I would imagine it uh, had to be very, well, for everybody it was difficult, but with COVID, was that a tough, a tough time to, you know, navigate that? It was easy because our staff were so accommodating. So okay. were our families. So we stayed open as a pandemic site. So we worked um, with families who needed the care and were still working during the time. Okay. So everything we learned during the pandemic time actually helped us facilitate how we were going to go forth with communicable diseases moving forward. So we learned new cleaning strategies. We learned best ways to communicate with families, illnesses. You know, our motto is, is that even though it's challenging, we're going to take a learning lesson from it. And we learned from it and we had fun, even though it was scary, but yeah. you know, we still got to love the children and we got to love the families. Oh, Julie, that's a great philosophy because you can learn uh, Bill Bradley and uh, ran for president actually. He had a slogan or a saying that everything is a teachable moment. Mm -hmm. If you're open and aware, everything is a teachable moment. Yeah. So that was a great teachable moment and good yeah. things came out of that for you, right? Yeah, that's absolutely. Pretty accurate to say. Okay, we want to talk about this Giving Tuesday, which is November 29th. Mm -hmm. Explain what we're looking to do for Toledo Day Nursery on Giving Tuesday, because it's right around the corner. It is. Toledo Day Nursery is a nonprofit, which means that we receive most of our income from the places that sponsor us. We also partner with like Early Head Start, Head Start, and Hope Toledo. But a lot of our income comes from donations. And so we want to be able to continue the quality childcare that Wait. we are giving to families. And so when families are looking at November 29th for Giving Tuesday, we hope that they would come to us because the money that is given to us uh, helps us make our classrooms beautiful. You're gonna right. see these absolutely wonderful toys. A lot of it is open-based learning. You're gonna see quality teachers because we're able to pay them a good amount of money so that right. they want to be Which here. Which is vital. I taught for three oh, yeah. plus years. I'm still teaching and I understand that, you know, if you don't pay your teachers well, they're not going to stay. Mm -hmm. That's just yeah. the fact. Well, and especially because there is a teacher shortage. So we want to make sure our teachers know how much we yeah. appreciate them. And uh, that means that we are going to continue to be one of the top paying um, schools in this area. We also like to train our teachers. So where we're talking about quality, it also means that we want to provide trainings that are constantly educating our staff on social emotional skills so that we're able to work with these families and these children's coping mechanisms of what to do when frustrated or sad so that they're not adults at uh, the car dealership stomping their feet that they're not getting their way. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, so, all right, Giving Tuesday, the 29th, is gonna help Little Day Nursery so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do they give? How, how, what's the process? How do we do this? Um, we can do it online. Um, we have a PayPal account. So really, I mean, if you see, if you look at our website, you can go to ToledoDayNursery.org. You can give on there. And also, you, there'll be tabs that are linked mm -hmm. to our Giving okay. Tuesday on our Facebook page. So Toledo, Nur Toledo Nursery, Toledo Day Nursery? Mm -hmm. Yes. ToledoDayNursery.org. And then you can get to the, it'll direct you to give on that Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. Ladies, you're, you know, you're providing a service in our community that is essential. Mm -hmm. You're helping families um, stay together. You're helping families being able to work and be able to take care of their families. If uh, moms or dads don't feel good about where they're dropping their youngsters off, then they don't go to work. They stay home. They can't, you know, earn mm -hmm. a paycheck. They can't yeah. take. So you're in this process of lifting our community. Mm -hmm. I think uh, John Kennedy said one time, President Kennedy, a, a rising tide lifts all boats. You're yeah. lifting boats in the Toledo community. You and all of your staff, and we're so proud of you. Keep doing the great job. So, <laughs> ladies, we're really proud of you. Uh, this is a great place to bring the youngsters and all continued success. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Tom Cole for Steve Taylor Community Connection.